Hello and welcome at Pitango. My name is Sonja. And I'm Sven. And we have Rana, our dog, in the back. So today we are going to handle the most common mistakes that happen when you do forward or backward stepping. Exactly. So in the previous videos we were covering how to walk forward, how to walk backward, how the different phases align to each other when doing that together. And today we will be covering the most common mistakes. So common mistake number, number one. one for the leader. And I think this is the most common one and the most common misunderstanding is that when the leader goes to the embrace, he's standing so much forward already that when you start to step, you start to overtake your partner's chest. So what is happening is because you're moving so much forward, you cannot control your own body weight anymore and you start to kind of diagonally fall to the movement. So we lose all pressure on the floor to make a big dynamic step and also it's not very comfortable for our He's partners. actually invading my space. You remember the video about embrace and space? He's not allowed to do that. Never invade her space. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, number one common mistake for the follower has also to do with the shoulders and chest movement. So if Sven is leading me a back step and I react right away in the upper body, I create this movement. I'm going backward and look, my body position, I'm not aligned anymore with the chest on top of the pelvis. Exactly. So when she walks backwards, she needs to make sure that it's first the chest that is staying and she's preparing her free leg to make the movement and to walk. Okay. So that's very important for the followers. Now, for the leaders, uh, second most common mistake, and actually probably the first most common mistake when leaders start to dance tango, is you have the feeling that when your partner is in front of you, that there is no space to walk. So most leaders are going to sort of start and to show the movement below and then to walk. But then there is no space available for the legs. So you have to make sure that when you walk forward that you don't move your hips instead of the embrace. So first I start to move the embrace and then the hips and the feet in order to show her where to walk and to create space for my feet. Also, the follower is open toe shoes. So if your leader steps in the way Sven is indicating, there are going to be some serious problems with toenails. Exactly. And maybe in open embrace, it's still, uh, it's still fairly doable to walk like this with the hips in front. But once you're going to the closed embrace, it will never be comfortable because you're already so close that you are not able to move if you only move the hips. And to complement on that closed embrace, if you as a leader walk like this or start to walk like this, you will have the body weight of your follower onto you, which creates problems in the low back. Yes. So pay attention to that. Exactly. Now, most common mistake for the partner is to transfer the weight too much back upon arriving in a new step. Look, this is what we mean. So when she makes a step, so the first here, part is okay. But then I go all the way right away with the weight completely. So once more, I extend and then right away I'm there. So I'm not taking the transition time that my leader is indicating to go to my step. So she's actually concentrating on transferring the upper body where she should be transferring on... In uh, the low part, exactly. in, the, in the legs, in the feet. So show that uh, correct. So First correct. part is okay. This is okay, but then I transfer, look at the back feet, then the other leg joins and now I'm again in my axis. Okay, so she transfers the hip and the legs and not the chest. Now, the same for the leaders upon arriving, so it could go wrong upon starting the movement, but also many times we see in a dance class that the leader starts the step all right, but then when he arrives, he actually transfers the hip and not the chest. Now, you might notice already that Sonia is not closing her feet, she's not collecting the feet. So you have to make sure that you transfer the weight from the chest continue, do that, and then bring also the hip and the legs. So if your hip only moves, she will stay. 
you need to move also your upper body there. And that's one mistake that we see very, very often that many people tend to forget, even if it is the slightest bit, okay? My objective for a step is to make her step backwards, but my objective is also that she collects the feet afterwards. So we show that again. My objective is that she starts to step, that she makes a step, but then I have to make her collect her feet. So the job is not over yet when she just makes the back step. You also have to make sure that she collects the feet if you want that to, of course. Now, we have been handling the common mistakes regarding legs and chest part. There is also the part of the embrace in which things can go wrong. I will show you most commonly for the follower what happens if you react immediately in the embrace. Look, Sven is moving forward and I react only in the arms. So here I will not feel anything. I actually follow now, when I do it right, in the legs, so the distance in the upper body remains the same. Exactly. Okay, yes. so she's not allowing me inside the embrace, she's using the embrace as an indication where to go. Okay, I think we have covered most, most common mistakes that we know, that, that we see. We see when walking forward. So thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you on the next occasion for some more tango information. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.